Hey, Ray Dalvecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. We're going to go through a tour of my SiteGround account. If you're in the process of choosing hosts, this will give you a good idea of how things work. And one thing that's cool about SiteGround is they make everything really easy to use on the back end, and they have a lot of added features. So let's walk through them right now. You can see them in the Websites tab here. And if you get hosting with SiteGround, this is where your domains are going to be listed. I have the Grow Big plan, so I can create unlimited websites. And you can see I got a bunch installed on here right now. And most of these are on WordPress. If you install WordPress through SiteGround's one-click installation, you'll be able to automatically log in using this right arrow icon. If you don't see it, it's because you may have manually installed WordPress through a backup plugin or something like that. And then on the right, you can go into your site tools for any of these domains. You also have this three-dot icon, which if you click this, one useful thing that I've used already is the change primary domain. For instance, I set up a temporary website under just one of SiteGround subdomains, and then when I was ready to transfer it over to the primary domain, I just made this switch, and that goes through the database and makes all the changes that are necessary in order to do that. So let's jump into the site tools, and we can see what's going on here. We're on the dashboard of this domain, and you can edit your pin tools here. You can see the ones that we have are App Installer, which that's how you can install WordPress. You can also go to the WordPress section over here, and they give you your site information, the amount of disk space is taken up, inodes, which that's a little bit of a technical thing, and then your site IP address along with the name servers that you have to edit at your domain registrar to link up your domain to SiteGround's hosting. And if we just go through each section here, you can see that under the site section, they have an online file manager. You can go through all your folders in your web server, edit files here. I prefer to do this with FTP. So you can create an FTP account, and then with that, you can use an FTP program, which I use FileZilla on both Mac and on Windows. And that just gives you two windows where you can just drag and drop files between your computer and your web server if you want to do anything manually. This is really helpful to understand how WordPress operates. I got a video going into that if you want to learn more about WordPress. I'll link that up in the top right. And then WordPress is built with MySQL. This is for your database. You don't have to worry about this. When you do the one-click installation, SiteGround takes care of all this for you. You can click over to the PHP MyAdmin tab, and this is where you open up a browser window that shows you into your database. And I have a whole tutorial going into that as well, which I'll link up here in the top right. And then this is another form of database, PostgreSQL. I don't know how to pronounce that. I've never used it before. So let's move on to the security section. And this is where you have your backups. SiteGround does 24-hour backups. And you have five manual backup slots. You can edit your SSL, your security certificate. This is a common thing. Sometimes people install WordPress before the security certificate is there. And then when they go to access the domain, they have, have that error message that says it's insecure site. So just make sure that you have your SSL ready to go when you're installing WordPress. You can enforce HTTPS, and then they have a few other features here where you can block IP addresses or protect URLs. Let's go to the speed section. This is where you can edit your caching settings. This is also a little bit technical. They have a plugin for WordPress called the SiteGround Optimizer. That's another way to optimize your site from your WordPress admin area. So if you have any speed issues, I would look into caching first. And then another thing is the CDN, which is a new option you can see here. They have a paid upgrade, but they do have a free option. And a CDN stands for a content delivery network. That's so that your web files, your static web files, like your images and CSS files, those get stored on multiple servers across the world. And depending on where the user downloading the website is located, they grab that file from the nearest server to them so it's as fast as possible. So this is optional. You don't have to set this up, but obviously it's going to give you a performance boost if you do. And we can move on to the WordPress section. This is where, like I said, you can install and manage your WordPress installations. They give you an easy way to set it up plain or with WooCommerce. If you want to do e-commerce, you can log into your installations down here. And then the next cool feature that I got a lot of use of when I switched over to SiteGround was their staging tool. With the staging tool you create a subdomain on your domain and you can clone your website over to that make any changes that you need to if you want to do any big updates or in my case i was switching over themes i converted a lot of my older websites to use divi by elegant themes which is the most popular visual builder, page builder on WordPress. If you want to see how that works, I'll link up a tutorial here in the top right. And then when everything was good to go on the staging website, you can just do a one-click transfer from your staging website to your live website. And this is where you manage your staging copies, and you can also back up your staging copies. Then if you want to migrate a website, they have another plugin called the SG Migrator, the SiteGround Migrator. You can install that on your WordPress website and then go into your 
account here into the migrator section and you get your migration token and then when you plug that into your old WordPress website, it'll transfer all the files and the, and the database over to SiteGround so you can manage it here. You can manage auto updates on WordPress releases, but if you're, you've used WordPress for any amount of time, you know that keeping it up to date is one of the best ways to keep it secure. And lastly here, you got your search and replace tool, which this goes into your database. So if you want to change something, you know, say you have a, a bunch of instances of a certain phrase or an address or something like that, phone number and you want to swap that out, you can do it using this tool. So the last couple options here are your domain management tools. I really haven't used many of these, but this is where you can create subdomains, you can park domains, you can do any redirects. You know, a common theme here is that you could do a lot of this stuff like redirects with a WordPress plugin. So SiteGround makes it easy. They build a lot of this stuff into the admin panel, but you can always look into WordPress plugins as well and see which way to do it is the best option for you. And then lastly, the email section, this is where you can create custom domain email. You can set up your account, access it through webmail over here. I usually prefer to do forwarders just because it's simpler and mail is not stored on the web server. So it keeps the file size on the web server down as well. And then I manage all my custom domain email from one Gmail inbox. That simplifies the process. But if you want to create an account, you can do that over here and link up these settings with your email client. And then the last couple options here, these are the admin kind of things, the statistics, your traffic log, your error log, and your access log. If you ever have any issues, you get an error when a site is loaded, you're going to want to look at this. And you can always walk through this with a SiteGround support person if you can't figure it out yourself. But that's really it. I mean, this is all it takes to manage a website. I hope this was helpful for you. And I really love SiteGround. I transferred most of my websites from HostGator, which I still use for you know low traffic, affordable websites. SiteGround just gives you these other tools like the staging tool, which I found super helpful for managing client websites. And if everything looks good to you, get your website set up now with SiteGround. Just so you know, I am an affiliate. So that means if you click the link in the description below and get set up today, I get a small percentage of that sale. That's no extra cost to you. That's all I got for this video. And if I didn't cover something, you got any questions about getting started with SiteGround, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I got a lot more WordPress tutorials and videos that'll help you get started freelancing with web design if that's your goal. So go ahead and check them out. And I'll link up a couple other videos here if you wanna keep on learning.